AP, London, the Bank of England is anticipated to increase interest rates by as much as half a percentage point on Thursday in an effort to control the double-digit inflation driving public sector strikes, a cost-of-living crisis, and recession fears. The action would raise the UK's benchmark rate to 4%. For Britain's central bank, which has approved 10 straight rate increases since the post-pandemic global economic boom and Russia's war in Ukraine drove inflation to 40-year highs, economists predict that this could be the final significant rate increase. The US Federal Reserve has already started to scale back its response, raising its benchmark rate on Wednesday by just a quarter point. On Thursday, the European Central Bank is anticipated to increase rates by half a point. The majority of economists anticipate the Monetary Policy Committee, or MPC, of the Bank of England to make it clear that it is serious about combating inflation in light of rising food and service prices as well as wage rises that have exceeded expectations. However, the decision is likely to be close, with some economists predicting that the bank would choose to raise its main rate by a quarter point as energy prices decline and concerns about the slow pace of economic development gain prominence. In December 2021, when its benchmark rate was below 0.1%, the Bank of England started raising borrowing charges after more than a decade of historically low interest rates. Last year, the bank increased its efforts to combat inflation by allowing four significant rises of at least a half point since August, bringing the rate to 3.5%. As the government spends billions to assist individuals and businesses impacted by high energy costs this winter, rising prices are also inhibiting economic development and straining public coffers. The United Kingdom is expected to be the only major economy to contract this year, according to the International Monetary Fund, even if the forecast for the rest of the globe has improved. In contrast to an earlier prediction of 0.3% increase, the IMF predicted that the country's gross domestic product will most likely decrease by 0.6% in 2023. As energy prices stabilize, the Bank of England will publish its own updated economic estimates on Thursday. Economists anticipate a more upbeat outlook than that of the IMF. The central bank's November projection for a record two-year recession now appears too downbeat, according to Martin Beck, chief economic consultant to economic forecasting organization the EY Item Club. The large decline in wholesale gas prices in recent months means inflation should fall faster and the economy contracts by less, and for a shorter period of time, than the Bank of England predicted three months ago, he added. Thank you for listening and don't forget to subscribe.